Over the last four weeks of like not vlogging, yes, the first thing to say is I've I've really missed vlogging. Um, like picking up the camera and just talking to you guys. But at the same time, like had I not stopped vlogging over this past month, I don't think I would have realized or come to the realization that I do still want to vlog. I do still love what I do online. You know, I feel like Previously, I was chasing three uploads every single week, like I had to hit two or three and when I wasn't hitting that many or I was only posting one, I felt so bad. This like huge weight of guilt in that I wasn't posting enough and sharing enough and, you know, having taken this break, I've actually realized that, you know, I can slow down and I don't have to post three videos every single week. I know that's gonna help me find balance in this part of my life online on YouTube and then with my other social media platforms, but also like my personal life and things that I don't necessarily feel like I need to post online. Like this year, I just felt like I was selling my soul online and I was sharing every single inch of me for like views or for a video or just because I thought that that was the way that you guys would engage with me and watch me like as I said in my last video I just felt like I was talking to no one recently and like that's sometimes the problem with being an online influencer or whatever I'm so sorry there was a lot of wind and I really need the wind muff thing on this but yeah being an influencer means that you do I think sometimes end up sharing things you don't want to share and I feel like I did that a few times this year you know like I've really started to appreciate what privacy means to me and for the longest time I thought that was me being selfish to like my online brand and Holly Gabrielle and to you guys when in reality like I do need to create this separation between my life online and you guys need to understand that that is only a fraction of my life versus like Holly behind the camera and who she is and I'm still working on that like I really am but I know that in slowing down and creating this better separation and like vlogging because I know that that's ultimately what I want to do like I don't want to do anything else other than vlogging really online because I know that at least on this channel that is what I'm known for I love telling stories sharing my experiences my raw emotions the ups and downs literally everything like that but I know that I don't have to share everything now yeah I'm I'm not perfect I'm literally just a human. As I said in my last video, like I'm not sharing any of this for like sympathy, but like it got to the point recently when I would post a video and I would dread looking at the comments. And like when I did, I would reply on impulse or I'd like be crying because I just felt like you guys couldn't relate to me anymore, didn't like me, didn't like who I am. But you know, I've, I've come to terms with those things now. 
they better understand that it's because you care and they come from a good place and I just I was just I was just you know sprinting when I'm supposed to be running a marathon which is life you know like stop running too fast Holly you get injured <laughs> literally that feels really good to like them I really need to do this more often just like step outside I feel like at home in nature and outdoors and just yeah share how I'm feeling with you guys I uh, look like a boy when I put my hair up in this hat but yeah I'm gonna go down to the gym now anyway and I yeah I want to say thank you for like always just being there to listen and support me I was so scared to do this yesterday and I think it's just because I'm so used to chasing time and taking things off to do lists and being obsessed with getting things done and staying on track. So yeah, yesterday this was difficult for me. It was hard not to set an alarm. Like I was, you know, questioning whether or not I should do it, but I ultimately decided to not set an alarm for like once in my life and just allow my body to get the rest it needs and wake up when it wants to do so um it is currently like 11 a.m so i've definitely slept quite a lot i mean i probably didn't fall asleep until like 1 30 a.m and i've kind of been like dozing over the last hour or so but i don't know that was quite difficult for me however i've decided that you know this winter period is a time for me to like prioritize rest and relax and not constantly feel like i need to do things like always be on the go be staying productive and yeah like i have been self-employed for like the last two and a bit years or so two three years and there is always this pressure on me like everything is on me so you know if i don't wake up or if i am ill and i can't work then i feel bad and i just constantly feel this weight of pressure and because of that i don't ever stop to take breaks don't ever take like annual leave or time off when i'm like not working at all so that is why i have decided to wake up today without an alarm and it was actually really nice like i didn't have the sound of my alarm and you guys know my alarm it's that really intense sound because it's the only thing i wake up to i am now kind of like oh my gosh i've woken up so late and i don't have any time of the day but i'm trying to remind myself that i'm doing this because it is currently the 18th of december and i need to remind myself that i'm allowed to take time off but anyway good morning i have still allowed to say that and i'm gonna start my day now but yeah it's gonna be slow chillaxed and wholesome <laughs> sometimes it's unhealthy or I still need to work on it because I genuinely do now don't get me wrong I have definitely improved when it comes to like relaxing and chilling and slowing down and I'm a lot better when I'm like away from like my home which is you know here right now I just enter into this mode of like non-stop work especially when i'm on my own and that's why in some ways i'm just like 
almost a different person. I also feel like bad or I feel ashamed of slowing down because I don't know like personally and in my family like I've always been known as you know the holiday that always works and never stops and you know got good grades in school, got a first at uni, like achieved these really big things and I feel like this this upsets me or like I'm crying right now just because I feel so strongly about like how I feel right now and how like deep this pressure sits in like my soul. I've made quite a few spiritual references I feel in this video and I'm not really spiritual but like this feeling of guilt and this pressure and this weight that I carry every day is so strong and this is something that I've said I needed to work on for like a really long time and I feel like I've said it in videos as well but like I truly haven't been able to work on this because you know the camera has always come first and that's why I needed to take a step back from vlogging and I will be vlogging going forwards but I'm not going to be vlogging every single thing because that doesn't give me the space to grow and actually make these changes in my personal life which are only going to help me you know this is not to say that I'll never share anything or look back on things and you know talk about how I achieved it and it's also not me being selfish it's just me trying to be kind of to myself and respect my boundaries and who I am and you know like my personal life my privacy and the holy that is online and also the holy that is offline so yeah I'm sorry if there's been a green glow. I'm testing out using this microphone as you can see and now here. I don't know if it actually works very well. I got it like last year in 2022 um, when I did some videos filming with my brother in London and I don't think it's the best mic but I'm just trialing it and yeah hopefully you can see from my recent videos and even the vlogs you know like I'm trying to work on my videos and my editing skills and stuff like that but anyway if you've noticed that and you appreciate that i appreciate you for noticing Ooh, we also have some nice christmas decorations that mom put up and we have lights around the outside of the house which i'll show you you're on a massive tripod but yeah you can kind of see the twinkling of the lights all around our house which look so nice from the outside i wish i could show you but just imagine Nice fairy lights, Christmassy lights all around the house. <laughs> and these are the pictures dad got done for mom's birthday from our time in the Peak District. They're so cute. Minnie, who is this? Oh, this! I'm creating an earthquake. Milka, earthquake drill. Look at them. They want to see you first. 